All right, so here we are in day two. Um, our glue and our epoxy and everything is dry on the motor mount. Um, first, before we glue the motor mount into the tube, we'll need to attach the shock cord. Um, with this, we use a uh, sheep's head knot, I believe. Um, just loop the end through the eye bolt. Um, make your knot. How did I do this? Pull that tight, it essentially becomes a slip knot. So you got that. Um, and then just to keep this tail from flapping around, we'll want to use some masking tape to hold it in place and give it a little extra security. Then you got the long tail end here. Um, you want to wrap that up and tape that together so it's just not flopping around while you assemble the rest of your rocket. Um, when you gather it up, make sure there's enough length so that when you put the motor mount in, it all stick out the top and you can actually grab it. That's good. All right, so that's taped up. Um, now we'll put the motor mount in our uh, body tube. Um, shock cord goes at the, the front end and just slide it in like this. Put it in from the other end first. So drop the shock cord through. Slide the motor mount in, um, shot card comes out the top. So with this, first we have to glue in this back ring. We'll um, put a ring of glue on the inside and slide the centering ring into the glue. Um, I'm using wood glue. You can use epoxy if you like, but the uh, um, paper to wood is the wood glue gives it a strong enough seal. Ah, dribbling glue. All right, so then we'll slide the centering ring in, pushing that glue so it creates a fillet on the top end. When you're pushing this back centering in, take one of your fins and uh, make sure that you're not overlapping the slots. So we've got a nice tight fit there now. Pull that out. And that will dry. Um, if you get a little bit of glue sticking out of the top, like I've got here, take a paper towel or something, wipe that down so it doesn't dry and make so your fins will fit in there nicely. There's that. Right, for the top centering ring. It's a little harder to see, but um, what we'll do is we'll take some of the glue and put in a fillet around the edge and um, either smooth it out with your finger or if the tube is too narrow, we'll take a dowel and spread that glue.
All right, now that we have the glue dry on our motor mount, we are ready to um, put our fins in. But first we're going to put a, uh, another fillet down here at the, the butt end using wood glue again. Put a thin line around that we can smooth out. Smooth it down. This also pushes some of the glue into the crack, the joint. And this part will be exposed, so you do want to try and make it as clean as possible. Alright, then while that's drying, we can put in our fins.